Uh, I don't know if I want to continue investigating it. You know, I might just want to say I'm better off forgetting. How are you feeling about tonight, about coming back? Uh, nervous. Okay, uh, I have to bring this, uh, this next guy right up because he's uh, just a fantastic act and he's a very good friend of mine. And he's here for you right now. We're very glad to have him here tonight. Let's get a big round of applause for Simply Fred. Hi, how you doing? Good. My name's Fred. Hi. I didn't have a lot of friends when I was a kid. They always used to ditch me. So I had an imaginary friend. He used to ditch me. No, I didn't really have an imaginary friend. I only thought I did. Fred's gig went okay that night. But that doesn't change the fact that his life will never be the same. Nor will Claire's, Diana's, Jim's, or Jack's. No one on Earth can say with any certainty what really is happening to these people. Even they aren't sure. But whatever it is, their journey has not been easy. And for each of them, there are hundreds, perhaps thousands of others who also wonder, what do they want? And why did they take me? I don't know, hopefully it's some sort of organic brain disorder. And then the rest of the world is safe. <laughs> but if it's not... But if it's not a brain disorder, then what? No one knows how the story will end, but it might be wise to take heed. Because one day, you too could find yourself saying, it starts with a sighting, then a slip in time. Next.